Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about miscarriage ultrasound reporting. You will learn how to write ultrasound reports regarding miscarriages. The reports will include the gestational age, chief complaint, findings, impression and recommendations. Our first case is of threatened miscarriage gestational age approximately 7 weeks, chief complaint spotting and mild abdominal cramping. These are the findings, gestational sac, the gestational sac appears irregular in shape, deviating from the typical round or oval form. This may suggest an abnormal gestational development. Yolk sac, normal in appearance and location. Embryonic pole, visualized. Fetal heart rate. The fetal heart rate is noted to be approximately 90 beats per minute, which is below the expected range for this gestational age, indicative of fetal bradycardia. Cervix appears closed and of normal length. Adnexa, no adnexal masses or significant free fluid noted. This is the impression. The ultrasound findings are suggestive of a threatened miscarriage characterized by an irregular gestational sac and fetal bradycardia. It is recommended to follow up with close monitoring and repeat ultrasound in one to two weeks or sooner if symptoms worsen, the importance of immediate medical attention in case of any significant changes in symptoms should be emphasized to the patient. Here are the recommendations. Follow up ultrasound in 1-2 to two weeks. Bed rest and avoidance of strenuous activities. Monitor for any exacerbation of symptoms such as increased bleeding severe cramping or any other concerning signs, consider consultation with an obstetrician for further management. Here is another report of threatened miscarriage with different features. Estimated gestational age approximately 7 weeks, chief complaint, light vaginal bleeding and mild abdominal cramping. These are the findings. Gestational sac appears normal in size and shape for the gestational age. The yolk sac is noted to have calcifications, which is an unusual finding and can be associated with poor pregnancy outcomes. Embryonic pole, visible with normal growth corresponding to the gestational age. Fetal heart rate is normal. A subchorionic hematoma is noted, identified adjacent to the gestational sac, measuring approximately 2 into 1 cm. This finding is consistent with a small subchorionic hematoma. The cervix is closed and is of normal length. Ovaries and adnexa, no abnormal findings. This is the impression. The ultrasound findings suggest a threatened miscarriage highlighted by the presence of a calcified yolk sac and a small subchorionic hematoma. These findings can be associated with increased risk of pregnancy complications. Clinical follow-up and repeat ultrasound are highly recommended to monitor the progression of the pregnancy and the resolution of the hematoma. These are the recommendations. Close clinical monitoring and follow up ultrasound in 1 to 2 weeks or sooner if symptoms exacerbate. Advise rest and avoidance of strenuous activities. Patient should report any increase in bleeding, severe cramping, or other concerning symptoms immediately. Possible consultation with an obstetrician for further assessment and management. This is a report of missed miscarriage. 
gestational age 8 weeks chief complaint mild spotting here are the findings the gestational sac is visualized measuring approximately 25 millimeters in mean diameter however the sac appears empty with no yolk sac or embryonic pole identified which is abnormal for the estimated gestational age yolk sac and embryonic pole not visualized cervix appears closed with no signs of cervical insufficiency no adnexal masses or significant free fluid noted this is the impression the ultrasound findings are consistent with a missed miscarriage characterized by an empty gestational sac at a gestational age where embryonic structures should be visible the absence of an embryonic pole and yolk sac at this stage is suggestive of an an embryonic pregnancy or early pregnancy loss these are the recommendations patient counseling regarding the findings and discussion or management options including expectant management medical management or surgical intervention follow up with an obstetrician for further evaluation and management repeat ultrasound can be considered to confirm the findings if clinically indicated monitor for signs of complications such as heavy bleeding or infection this is another report of missed miscarriage estimated gestational age is approximately 8 weeks chief complaint light spotting these are the findings gestational sac well defined and appropriately sized for the estimated gestational age embryo an embryo measuring approximately 8 millimeters in crown rump length is visualized within the gestational sac fetal heartbeat no cardiac activity is detected in the embryo absence of a fetal heart rate at this crl is highly suggestive of a non-viable pregnancy yolk sac is present and within normal size limits cervix appears closed and of normal length the ovaries and agnexa are unremarkable here is the impression the ultrasound findings indicate a missed miscarriage characterized by the presence of an embryo with a CRL greater than 7 mm but without detectable cardiac activity. This suggests an early embryonic demise. Recommendations Patients should be counseled about the findings and the implications for the pregnancy. Discussion of management options including expected management, medical management or surgical intervention such as dilation and heritage. Follow up with an obstetrician is essential for further evaluation and to discuss the next steps in management. Monitoring for any symptoms of infection or excessive bleeding is advised. Now we have a report for inevitable miscarriage, estimated gestational age approximately 7 weeks, chief complaint moderate vaginal bleeding and cramping. These are the findings. The gestational sac is present in the lower portion of the uterus with irregular contours. The size corresponds to the estimated gestational age embryonic development an embryo is present but no cardiac activity is detected the crl is appropriate for the gestational age yolk sac visible but appears larger than normal the cervix is partially dilated and the internal loss is open which is suggestive of an impending miscarriage no adnexal pathology identified Minimal free fluid is noted in the cul-de-sac. 
and here we have the impression. The ultrasound findings are consistent with an inevitable miscarriage, the presence of an embryo without cardiac activity, a low-lying gestational sac, an abnormally large yolk sac, and a partially dilated cervix with an open internal loss are indicative of a pregnancy that is unlikely to continue. These are the recommendations. Immediate referral to an obstetrician for clinical management is advised. Options for management include expectant and medical management or possible surgical intervention. The patient should be counseled regarding the findings and the associated risks, including the potential for significant bleeding, monitoring for signs of infection or hemodynamic instability is important. Now we have a report for incomplete miscarriage, chief complaint, intermittent vaginal bleeding and abdominal discomfort. Findings, fetal parts, fragments of visible fetal parts are noted, varying in echogenicity within the endometrial cavity, retained products of conception, there is a heterogeneous mass within the endometrial cavity showing mixed echogenicity, this is consistent with retained products of conception, Vascular supply. A prominent vascular supply is identified adjacent to the RPOC with a noticeable feeding vessel aiding in the diagnosis. Avascular areas. In some regions, the retained products appear avascular, suggesting a more chronic process. Cervix. The cervix is slightly dilated which is consistent with the ongoing expulsion of pregnancy tissue. At Nexa, unremarkable. This is the impression. Ultrasound findings are indicative of an incomplete miscarriage, the presence of visible fetal parts, a heterogeneous mass of mixed echogenicity representing retained products of conception, and a prominent vascular supply to these products are characteristic. The presence of avascular areas suggests a more chronic nature of the retained products. These features were seen after a miscarriage took place. These are the recommendations. Immediate obstetrical consultation for management of retained products of conception is advised. Management options may include expectant and medical management or surgical intervention such as dilation and curettage. The patient should be informed of the findings and counseled on potential risks, including infection and bleeding. Close follow-up and monitoring for complications are crucial. Now we have a report for a complete miscarriage. Estimated gestational age, approximately 6 weeks. Chief complaint, recent heavy vaginal bleeding and cramping, which has now resolved. These are the findings. These features are seen after a miscarriage took place. Gestational sac. No gestational sac is visualized in the uterine cavity. Embryonic or fetal tissue. No embryonic or fetal tissue is identified within the uterus. Endometrial lining. The endometrial lining appears thin and homogeneous without any retained products of conception. The cervix is closed and appears normal. No evidence of ectopic pregnancy or significant adnexal pathology. No significant free fluid is noted in the pelvis. Here is the impression. The ultrasound findings are consistent with a complete miscarriage, the absence of a gestational sac, 
embryonic or fetal tissue and retain products of conception in the uterine cavity along with a thin and homogeneous endometrial lining supports this diagnosis. These are the recommendations. Clinical correlation with the patient's history and symptoms is recommended to confirm the complete resolution of the miscarriage. No immediate obstetrical intervention is required if the patient is asymptomatic and stable. Advise the patient to monitor for any symptoms of infection or abnormal bleeding. A follow-up visit with an obstetrician may be beneficial to discuss further management and future pregnancy planning. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.